just want to remind you during closing meeting tu tolonglah highlightkan perkara-perkara yang bagus dan comply Okay, so you have to recognize your own effort. Okay. Presenting the non-conformances and agreed actions including corrective action. Okay, so I dah tunjuk contoh non-conformances report and then you will have to obtain signature of the auditee. Okay, and then leaving copies of non-conformance report to auditee for further action and then you dah setuju dalam closing meeting tu the timeline for you for them to take corrective action and as an auditor you must do a follow-up audit okay and then last but not least thanking the auditee for the attention and cooperation given okay uh this one is actually audit report ni you akan prepare bila you dah close all the MCs. And then you dah buat follow up. And then this will be the final report. Okay. Uh, it is a summary of audit final result. Provide information about the status of our compliance. Produce every compliance audit. The contents of report. Company name and address. Dates of audit. Names of auditors. Objective and scope of the audit. And include this one. You will just start with your audit plan. Yeah, as, attached, as attachment. Okay, because dalam audit plan dah ada dah perkara-perkara areas, functions, or departments visited and the processes audited. You dah ada um, and then you punya audit summary, uh, total number of non-conformances and then you also attach the non-conformances report. Opening meeting, exit meeting punya attendance. Okay, results of the audit, position statement. Overall evaluation of the effectiveness of the organization halal compliances. Summary of ANSYS. So, you boleh uh, attachkan ANSYS report. Okay, sebab dalam ANSYS report you ada maklumat the non-conformances non clauses yang berkaitan. The agreed corrective action to be taken. Agreed on follow-up audit. So, you just attach your ANSYS report. Okay. So, all this... Uh, point ada dalam you punya NC report and then you kena buat follow up audit dulu after you buat follow up audit baru you buat report tadi ok so kenapa you kena buat follow up audit to obtain evidences that corrective action for all practices are implemented and maintained effectively you kena close the audit by performing the follow-up audit, pastikan non-conformances tu dibuat tindakan betulan dengan betul dan berkesan. So, the time scale tu you decide. Okay, the time scale of the follow-up action should be in accordance with the severity of the non-conformances. Contohnya, kalau jumpa arak can of beer, mestilah dia punya follow-up immediately. Okay, that is depends on the issue. On site follow up audit, close out and sis if satisfactory, issue new and sis if necessary. Masa you buat follow up audit, tiba-tiba nampak ada perkara-perkara yang you consider sebagai new non-compromises. Boleh issue and sis lagi. Once corrective action has been closed out, lead auditor will prepare a final report for management. Contoh contents of report yang saya telah mention tadi. Okay. okay. So this is my uh, email address.